Okay. So we're going to complete the table. It says complete the table, and then we're going to find the inverse and complete that as well. All right? So number one, go to your calculator. Type this in. Second table. Do you guys see a table? Match it up. When x is negative 1, what's your y? Negative 1. When x is 0, what is your y? 2. When x is 1, what is your y? When x is 2, what is your y? When x is 3, what is your y? 11. Very good. All right? Everybody good? Okay. Step number two. We're going to find the inverse first, okay? <clears throat> so all you really had to do was this. If it's from here to here, what do you guys do right there? You switch them, okay? Uh, hang on just a moment. Put all these numbers down, negative 1, 2, 5, 8, and 11, because I'm going to show you guys something real quick. All right, go ahead and solve for this. Y is equal to 3X plus 2. How do you find the inverse? <clears throat> How do you find the inverse? You switch. Okay. Next step, what do you do? Minus 2, minus 2. So X minus 2 is equal to 3Y. Now what? Divide by 3. That cancel, so x minus 2 divided by 3 is equal to y. Now what do I add? Negative 1. Is that right? Okay. What do you need to put around the top part? Parentheses. Okay. You guys good? So you've done like inverse over and over and over. It should be good. Face forward, please. Type this into your calculator. Clear parentheses. X minus 2 in parentheses divided by 3. Second table. Everyone at second table? <coughs> Make sure I typed it right. Second table. Okay, when it's negative 1, what is your y? Okay, you guys see that right there? When x is 2, what is your y? 0. When x is 5, what is your y? 1. When x is 8, what is your y? 2. When x is 11, what is your y? Do you guys see the flip? Do you see the flip? You guys see how these matched up? I am radio recording. Please be quiet. You see how this matched up? Do you guys see how it just flips? So if you find this one, can you find this one real easily? Absolutely. All right? Let's go to number two. Okay? <clears throat> Same thing. Y equal. Use your calculator to help you. Type negative 2x plus 7. Okay? Second table. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Go to negative 1. When x is negative 1, what is your y? 9. When x is 0, what is your y? 7. When x is 1, what is your y? 5. When x is 2, what is your y? 3. When x is 3, what is your y? 1. Okay. You see how that matches up? All right. Do you even have to do any work to find this one at all? No. All you have to do is what? Switch it. Okay? Because it's an inverse. 7 and 0. 5 and 1. 3 and 2. 1 and 3. Isn't that what an inverse is? You switch your x and your y. So guess what you're going to do right here? Switch those two. Okay? So if you, make to, if you need to make your note, switch X and Y, make yourself your note. It's not a big deal. Got it? Okay. They're all linear. All linear does the X and the Y switch. Every time. Okay? Every time. Do you see how this switch? Look at this one. You see how those two just switch over? X and Y? 
Well, guess what? That's also a linear. So you're just going to switch your x and your y back to your sequence. Any questions at all? All right. Now, on number three, you can't do that on number three because it's a quadratic. Okay? A quadratic, you cannot do that. But linear, number one and two, you can just switch them. You guys see the difference? All right. We're going to stop right there for number one and two. Tomorrow, I will do number three with you, and then I'll do the other side, and we'll finish it tomorrow. Got it? Your test is Thursday. Do you turn in your study guide for a grade? Absolutely. It will be a grade.